Now let's talk about the now playing app on the Apple Watch and how you can stop that. Or let me just explain to you how it works. Let's get into it. So what you can essentially do is open up your Apple Watch, just unlock it and locate the now playing app. Because right now in the latest watch OS, it is a separate dedicated application, which you can use in order to control the playback of the media. And it is very useful because this allows you to basically just see the source of whichever thing you are controlling. So if you open it up and just click the back arrow, you can come back and see all of the things you can control. So it might be the Apple TV, it might be the iPhone, it might be the AirPods connected to your watch, you know, so many different things. So this is a great way to control the media playback. So in my opinion, it is much better to just learn how you can use it properly. So that's how you can do this, switch in between the devices and then just have the regular music controls and like forward, pause, play, whatever. Right, But still, if you want to, what you can do is just to come back to the main app section, hold down on the app and just delete it altogether. This effectively means that you stop it um, entirely, right? There is, it's just going to disappear from the watch. Naturally, you can still get it back from the app store in the future. If you change your mind, that's completely fine. But yeah, that's just a proper way how you can stop it, right? So that's how it works. I just really wanted to explain to you how it functions and why I think it's a great feature and a great app. But let me know below in the comments what your opinion is or what exactly is the issue for you. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you in the future one. But that is only if you subscribe. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you then.